What's up guys? Welcome back to Fisher Hex. This is Travis here. Appreciate you stopping in for another video. Today I wanted to talk about power outages. Well, I unfortunately experienced a 23 hour power outage a couple days ago and uh, today I really want to show you guys how I got through that power outage without losing a single coral or fish. Now, we're all going to experience this. It's going to happen eventually, no matter what you do. You can hold it off and pretend it's not going to happen all you want, but it's going to happen. So it's always best to be prepared for this. Now, my power went out. I immediately put on the generator just so I could power the tank. The rest of the house, the AC, all that stuff was off. The refrigerator didn't have anything, so everything was starting to go bad in there. My main goal when power goes out is the reef tank. I'll drop anything. I will leave work. I will do whatever I need to do to get home to make sure I can take care of that tank. So the first thing on my list is to make sure that the tank has power. Now you can do this several ways. You can have a battery backup if it's big enough, but I recommend that you have a generator. Now I know that the initial cost for a generator can be a little pricey, but trust me, the amount of money that you put in your reef tank will outweigh the cost of any generator on the market. So just get one if you don't have one. It doesn't need to be anything special. It just needs to be able to power your reef tank. Once the power situation was taken care of, it was time to move on to heat. How was I going to deal with excess heat in this reef tank with the AC off in my house and it being 90 degrees outside and humid and nasty? What was I going to do to prevent my tank from overheating? Well, the first thing I like to do is open up the canopy, allow those big fans in the back to move a lot of air over the water, evaporating water, causing the tank to cool down. I also opened up the stand, let the sump breathe, and in turn, help cooling the tank down. Now, I did this for a little while. Once that wasn't working and the temperature started rising, it was time to move on to other things. Next thing I did, I went to the store, got a 16 pound bag of ice, brought it home here. What I like to do is put the ice within the sandwich bag and then put that sandwich bag within another one just to make sure that none of the water will get into the reef tank. It's always good to have that extra protection there. Uh, so basically what I did is I floated ice for 12 hours in my reef tank, slowly bringing the temperature back down to normal. It was exhausting. It was every 20 minutes, another four bags of ice, and it was just continuous for 12 hours just to keep the tank within a safe range. Now, a lot of people can get away with keeping their reef tank in the 80s, 81, something like that. My reef tank, the last time it got to 81 degrees, it was very, very bad. I lost coral at that point. So my tank just, maybe it was the type of coral could have been other reasons, but I never let my tank get to 81 degrees and I'll do whatever I need to do to make sure it stays at 79. So you guys might think I'm crazy sitting here putting bags of ice in every 20 minutes for 12 hours. But the reality is, is that this hobby means a lot to me. This tank means a lot to me. And when something is important to you and you work very hard towards something, it's not ridiculous to spend 12 hours putting ice into a reef tank. Uh, maybe for somebody who doesn't understand and uh, understand our hobby. Maybe it sounds weird to them, but to me, if I had to do it for a week straight, I would. That's just how it is. But with all that said, guys, the power outage sucked. Made it through it. Everything's alive. Fish are happy. The coral are happy. So in turn, I'm happy. All right. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, let me know. If uh, you've experienced anything like this before, I'm interested to know your story and how you dealt with it. Just put it in the comments section below. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.